Good morning. Welcome back. It's Friday. Uh, I, uh, the not funny joke I told was that I was in the shower this morning and literally thought of that song and was like, no, I would never torture anyone with bringing it up. And then Obi decided to break the seal on that. So that's fun. That'll be stuck in everyone's head the rest of today. So thank you, Obi. Good morning, Mac. Good morning, Reckless. How's everybody doing this morning? How's the week? It's the end of the week. We made it. We survived. Anybody else making fun of me? My mic not working? The honor of Harry Potter. It could be the joke that lived if you try hard enough. Montana, hi. <laughs> yes. You're funny once the mic's off, right? Yeah, okay, okay. Dash of funny this morning. I'm looking at you. Just overtired. Treat the doggo. Okay. All right, Montana. This chew stick is in honor of Reckless. You better say thank you. He just, he doesn't know how to talk yet. We're working on it. He's just wagging his tail. All right, buddy. Can you go here? <gasps> yes, good boy. All right, go get it. All right. Well, that was mighty embarrassing, y'all. Go away once we start naming more animals. True. Oh, wait, there was a... Oh, Mac. Wait, where? I don't see it. I think you're lying. Oh, you did have one. It was before... Okay. Uh, Montana. Yeah, you get more. Come here. Go to your spot. Bring bring your stick. That's fine. Go to your spot. Okay, this is from Mac. And the stick... Okay, well, technically the stick should have... I'm sorry, Mac. I, I missed it. Yeah, I know. I know. Sit. Yes, good boy. All right, say thank you. I know, I screwed, I screwed. Dude, look, it's, I'm just, it's, it's the struggle town over here today. Oh, man. I don't know what, what's going on. Ooh, it grows every time I'm, I come back. Get all of my pets. Perfect. Start the farm, breed them, and then kill them and sell them for ivory. I mean, um, no, no. No for that. I'm a little bummed that you can't have... I'm guessing that's a permanent thing. I'm sure you get more. Oh, wait. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, boy. This is awkward. Everything's all right now. I hit the wrong thing. Uh, how do I dump him? Okay. <gasps> Come here, steak. You get out of here. Yeah, I'm a little bummed you can't put more in here. I'm sure you get more areas. I would love, like, a, a bird sanctuary. Put all my birds in there. And a full course meal. Yeah. Let me just feed my four course meal and, you know, get them ready. Burnt toast. Here you go. Drumstick. Bubblegum. Can't stay. Gonna go help my grandfather do some yard work. Just wanted to name one of the dodos whenever you figure out how to add more. Yeah, I don't know. I think I need to get more pens or something. Or I don't know if I'm gonna unlock something to add more animals here, which seems kind of lame. Y'all fed? That's the wrong menu. Oh, KFC. Where's KFC? The birds are a little tricky. Got him? Hey. Hey. Are you drumstick? You're drumstick. Where's KFC? There he is. Hey, bud. Come here. <clears throat> Omelette. I gave up on the pen. Name a magical beast. The name is... Potato, yes. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Whichever one you want. Alright. Well, hopefully I figure this out. I feel like I'm going to have to play more game to unlock things. I guess I could swap out animals here. Name them and then put them back. Though I do have four of those, those uh, I don't know what they are, but I might, uh, I might sell a few. Totally not a poacher, y'all. I mean, technically, poachers, like, 
hunt animals and then kill them and harvest their things that are worth money and then leave the rest, so. Really, I'm not, but. Sometimes I question myself. Give me your feather. Hey, Wong Tong, how you doing this morning? Welcome, welcome. All right, Mac, have fun. Uh, good luck helping your grandpa do yard work. Pudding. Full screen. Uh, yeah, give me a second. Just want to finish up my animal shenanigans. Now, drumstick and burnt toast. There's burnt toast. Thank you for the full screen reminder. I don't even know why I do the chat screen. I don't know if it's even worth it. Just feels a little different, you know? Okay, where is this guy? Summon. Come here. Give me. Alright, full screen. I'm a little bummed I like that OBS mucks up your channels when you change profiles. That seems kind of pointless. The whole point of profiles is so you can have like different things set up, right? Depending on what you're doing. It's going to muck with my channels all the time. That's not going to be a solution because I want to try to do some full screen. No, no game cam or no um, live cam capture at some point. And the software that came with my capture card that I had used before isn't... It's like got the stuttering issue. So I gotta, I gotta figure that out. Um, so yeah, I think we're gonna sell two of these guys. I think the question is, which ones do we keep? These things, which one should be potato? That's the real question. I feel like one of the floppers. Maybe the blue one? You might need to speak with Deke, see if he has a quest to upgrade the Vivarian. White one is potato. Okay. Wait, this one? Do you recall? That one's pretty good, too. Alright, so we'll keep him. And should we keep the darker female or the lighter? Maybe the darker, so we have a little more variety. Let's um, kidnap some of our friends here. It's fine. It's only temporary. Just going for a little adventure. Oh, you know, um, Wednesday night, I gotta go see Return of the King in theaters again, and that was so much fun. I don't know how long it's gonna be in theaters, but it's the like 4K remastered, um, remixed. I think they redid some of the um, visual effects, re rendered it. It looks a little better. Um, yeah, so freaking good. And it was the extended edition, which I didn't realize going into the theater. But man, Lord of the Rings is just like, especially Return of the King. It's not my favorite out of the three. Let me know uh, what your guys' favorites are. Um, but the Return of the King is like s such good character arc wrap up for like the characters. It's, ugh, I freaking love it. But it was fun. It was fun seeing it in theaters. Again. Like when it came out, I was like in high school. <clears throat> Drinking coffee and hoping for a great day. Nice. That's all we can all hope for, right? What do you got going on today? What's everybody got going on? It's a weekend. Anybody got any fun uh, weekend plans? All right. So we're going to rename this guy. We'll take a blanket. Those are long movies. Yeah, right? I like... I was told it was a theatrical version, so I was like, okay, like, what, three, a little over three hours, I think, is a theatrical. I might be wrong. Um, but we got there, and I was like, this movie started at 7. It's getting close to 11 o'clock, and I was like, this is the extended edition. I haven't watched a theatrical edition since, like, for the Return of the King, I don't think I've seen theatrical since 
it was in the theater like after it came out to disc i've only ever watched the the extended edition so i don't even know really what the differences are anymore um because the extended edition is just so good does anyone like actually still watch the theatric editions when they pull out lord of the rings Any you crazy people out there Oh, I didn't get the. Actually, capitalize this. It'll look better. There we go. Why does that look like I'm spelling it wrong? I mean, that's what he wrote. Whether or not it's right, I don't know. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Mashed, non-white. Okay, all right. I can appreciate that. Where'd he go? He looks like a mashed. All right, buddy. Yes. This is these namings. Naming scheme is just so good. Mashed. Not much. Just planning on going to Olive Garden. Probably gonna go to the antique shop tomorrow and hunt for old comics. Yes, did when I had it. <laughs> That's right. And together, what do what do the dairy calls make? Mashed potatoes. It's a beautiful thing. Yes, perfect. All right. I yeah, I want like a bird sanctuary or something. Let's see if Deke's got anything. Nice. I. I feel like Olive Garden gets a lot of crap, but I secretly love Olive Garden. You I haven't been there in a while, but I love Olive Garden. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Eh, oh, Montana, you get your chicky? Overall look Come here. Most appeals to you. Yeah. Oh, you got your chicky. Okay, so no quest yet from him. We might have to put our, our beast catching ways behind us. Oop. Uh, what quest do we got? Oh, don't throw it on the ground. See? Good catch. What quest do we got today? Wait, Wong Tong. Are you saying you, you watched the theatrical version when you had it? I'm gone in years, so I don't have high expectations. That's fair. I, I don't know. I love Italian food. And in high school, Olive Garden was like the, you know, I don't know. It's where you go in high school. You're like, let's go on a nice date. Olive Garden. I don't know. I love Olive Garden. Uh... Yeah, I think... So go back to my question I asked like five minutes ago. I think my favorite Lord of the Rings movie is Fellowship of the Ring. Because it's such a fun, like, going on an adventure kind of movie. And like, traversing the world. And I don't know. I just, I love fellowship helms deep in the fight in two towers that whole battle is freaking epic too they're all good but i think fellowship is my favorite if i had to pick one it's probably the one i've watched the most too that year after it came out me and one of my friends watched it like i don't know we had a, a counter going like 14 times before the two towers came out hey burke how you doing today Yes, uh, my boyfriend moved out five years ago, so he took it with him, and I'm so sad about it. Oh, that that is sad. Sorry. There, oh man, such a good move. Uh, acquire and use invisibility. Oh, oh, we can do a bird. Oh no, that's sharp. This is the garlic one. Grown in harvest fluxweed. Are all three combat plants and use them simultaneously. Hmm. All right, maybe we go to Hogsmeade. Where's he at? He's down south, right? So I think we need to do a trip to Hogsmeade. I'll see if we can find these things to grow. We should have, we have everything. We have the potions for that. Should be good. And then that's another class, so. <clears throat> Let's get on out of here. 
Hopefully we can get more, uh, more space for more animals eventually. Yeah, Fellowship just has some really good moments. Might, I don't know, contemplating rereading those books. It's been, it's been a long time since I did. <clears throat> but what's, uh, what's your all favorite Lord of the Rings movie? It's also, it, it cracks me up seeing, it doesn't crack me up, but it's, it's, it's fun seeing like Merry and Pippin in those movies. Cause they were like already in there. Oh, what is that? Light it on fire. How am I supposed to? There we go. Um, they're so young and they're like, now they're, it's been, they're like what in their fifties or something. And they look like so, like they've aged like four times since the movies. Mac, uh, wow, makeup magic and all that shenanigans. They just looked so young. Anyway, I don't know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> all right, we fly. Better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Okay, I kind of just want to find this thing so he stops saying that every time I run out here. Didn't I already get that one? Akio. Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. I'm pretty sure I've got that one before. All right, to Hogsmeade. It's on the left. Out this way. There it is. I love them all, but I can't not watch the scene at the end of Return of the King when Aragorn tells the hobbits they bow to no man. That scene gets me every time. Yeah, like watching that in theaters, there's definitely, there's like three or four points in that movie that really catch me up. That's one of them. It's so good. And it got so much crap too for how long the ending of that movie was. I'm like, you should read the books. There's like a whole other subplot story that goes on after they like defeat Sauron. Um, but uh yeah that scene gets me for some reason when gandalf runs out to protect the uh the riders coming back from osgiliath and like the light beam shoots out and like the uh nazgul gets scared off like that scene always i don't know why Tana's living in his own little world right now uh, that scene always gets me because it's just so badass and the sound design and everything is just like, ugh, it's so good. It's so good. Only read The Hobbit and liked it. Couldn't get into the films and I fell asleep during one of The Hobbit films in theaters. Wow, okay, Reckless. I, I don't know what to say to that. That's fair. I mean, that's, that's fair. The Hobbit's fun. It's a fun, it's a fun book. I'm read. Some we got some critters to sell. Let's go to the magic neep. See about them seeds. I saw what you did. Ha, no tolerance for thieves. Ooh. Hand them back. Hand what back, sir? Busted. We've not took a thing. Hand them back. There's nothing to give, sir. It was only the one. Uh, that's all of them, sir. Honestly, I swear. How many times are you pair going to keep pilfering my shop? I swear it was just those ones, sir. Promise, sir. We'd never take more than those. Throw them behind bars. Get them out of here. I tell you this. They'll not appreciate your antics in Azkaban. Ooh. You just wait till I see your mother. Ooh, oh, oh. That was a bit harsh. Had a midnight rendezvous with their mother. Good on him, you know? Nah, I guess, I mean, the films aren't for everybody, which, that's, that's fine. Just a little bit of judgment here, but. Oh, it's you! What a pleasure You're still alright in my book. You have other redeeming qualities other than not liking Lord of the Rings Reckless. 
um, there is. Uh, I mean, I guess I could just buy it. I kid, I kid. You're great. Just a little confused at how somebody can not like Lord of the Rings, but that's that's fine. Conflicted. All right, we're just gonna buy this. Now you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. That didn't satisfy the quest, did it? Grow and harvest? No, I gotta grow and harvest it myself. Great. I don't think I have seeds for that yet, but I must because he's not offering up. Maybe I need a bigger grow bed and then I can plant them. All right, let's go to the brood and peak. Peck, brood and peck. Mine now, dummy guys. My wife refuses to watch them, so I understand. They aren't for everybody, but you better believe my kids will see them at some point. That's, yeah, that's fair. No, I I get it. There's My cousin actually uh, just got engaged. My other cousin, not Mac. Um, got engaged to a girl that's, like, not into fantasy stuff at all and, like, has never watched Lord of the Rings and doesn't care to. I haven't met her. She might be a troll. I don't know. But she sounds like a nice girl, so hopefully they'll be happy. I'm in a pick. And before you ask, I'm out of a Braxton hair. The lot of it was bought up by a trader in Ottery St. Catchpole. Made me take it in person, they did. No care that I had to shut the shop. Apparently had a bad experience with someone shipping them hair for my wampus cat. Must have been someone from America, no doubt. You wouldn't know her. She lives in Canada and goes to a different school. Anyway, yeah, right, right. What are you here for? Moon car fur? Derrickal feathers? Always have trouble collecting them myself as the bird keeps disappearing. Cheeky thing. <laughs> Used to carry them in the shop, Derry calls. But people kept asking for their money back when they'd get home and the blasted things would be nowhere in sight. I can imagine that would be rather frustrating. There's worse. Trust me. Most of the suppliers of whooper feathers may as well be living in St. Mungo's. Not surprising, I suppose. The choir knows things. Oh, but such marvelous feathers. <laughs> Almost worth going mad for. Sounds like stocking your shelves comes with some hazards. Truer words never spoken. Used to carry beasts themselves. Good business it was, but add it up to here with parents grumbling. Not my fault if the little ones caught a flea of an easel. Oh, you should have heard them. No, <laughs> best with byproducts. And I do like to make sure that are safe and well cared for. Couldn't guarantee that with some of these prospective owners. Now, why don't you have a good look around? Stocks change all the time, and not just because they disappear. Always best to pop in whenever you can to get things before they run out. <laughs> Which they used to literally do. <laughs> She's a snort laugher. Thank you, I will. Respect. Take all the time you need. And thank you for stopping by. Hey, we've all we've all had those moments. Up. All right. What do you have for sale? I have nothing against Lord of the Rings franchise. The pace of the films now, was just too slow for me. That's fair. And like the the books are pretty acquire. slow too. I get it. You're good. Uh, all right. Let's. Uh, they're not worth much. I'm gonna sell these two. We already got. I two. don't mind selling things for certain clients. You know where to find me. Do I need to buy any of this stuff? I feel like I can just. Get it on my own, right? I just gotta catch the things. Gotta catch I'll a unicorn. I don't mind seeing you here again. Consider yourself welcome. Ooh, look, a niffler. Catch a niffler. Where are the nifflers? Giant purple toad. Hey, buddy. That's just unlocked. Not like a hazard. I'm just gonna run away. Took care of that. I must have flux weed somewhere. Unless there's another shop 
in town I need to go stop at to buy things. The haircut place. Building. I think that's the only seed place, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's go down to tomes. Tomes and scrolls. Maybe I need a bigger grow bed or something. See, it should show, actually, in my inventory, right? If I have the seeds for it somewhere. Maybe. Did get a fair amount of coin. Two, two left. Crates, wand handles, and ingredients. No, that's just, just ingredients. Do I know what seeds I own? What seeds do I have? Okay, I guess we just. God, I hope for the best. Let's go to Tomes. Tombs of Tombs. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. I think my attention span has gotten a little worse since uh, I was younger. Because I've been like reading through The Hobbit, which is a kid's book, and it's taken me forever. I mean, granted, I've read through it multiple times, but... I'm like a little scared just to read through Lord of the Rings because I'm scared I'm just going to get bored with the books and I freaking love those books. Beast feeder spellcraft. Fox ability to conjure a beast feeder. Oh, that's handy. A toy box? What? Shopping station. Young. Uh, too large. Okay. I don't think I have the large. I can do medium. The large spot. Three medium. Three small. Five small. Yeah. E shape. Yeah, I think let's go ahead and get the large. Maybe that's nothing what we like need. finding just the right thing, is there? Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Okay. Hopefully that's it. We're gonna just, uh... Do patter on back. You can go on the beanbag, bud. You're good. Just beautiful. Oh, sweet. Okay. There we go. Flux weed. We did have it. <laughs> I just needed the right, the right place to plant it.
don't feel like I'm going to use a lot of potions. I'm not a big potion guy. Unless it's like a pinch and I need some health. Deke thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Uh, thanks, Deke. You're the best. Alright, where to now? Got those planted. Uh, balloon popping. Burn, use invisibility, thunder brew. Okay, maybe we should go do this. Meet up with Sebastian. Maybe there'll be some animals to catch on the way. Sebastian! He's down south, right? The Yeti Hunter. I'm gonna go hunt a Yeti. somewhere out here, right? Jump off the tallest tower. Come on. Let me follow my dreams. Go away, Pete. Okay, if I just jump over the edge. off thing. Gosh darn it. Just let me be free. Come on. <sighs> Sadness. Alright, we're not gonna run. We're gonna womp. Jump on out of here. Womp womp. to do i hope that like i kind of want late game once i finish every like the main stuff to maybe go back and do a lot of the side stuff might be fun hoping that you can out here all bandit camp a lot of merlin trial oh, that one's like in the middle of a bandit camp okay not seen a lot of critters to catch. Ooh, here we go. It's a bopper. Oh, we got those. A niffler. Oh, there's that. We have more space, though. I don't know. I think we'll wait until we get more. Get a little more space for my animals to be safe and free. Away we go. You can just pretty much go at your own pace. You get a chance to do stuff before the game fully wraps up. Okay, cool. Rebellion. Is this the. It's a bandit camp. Can't kick some. When you have a cloak like that, you can blame a girl for swooning. <laughs> uh, excuse you? the name of the game. You guys are losing it. Good night. 
Ravelio. stealth game. Okay. It's almost a little too easy. All of them? Yeah. Yoink. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. Do some more eggs. Just stealing babies. That's lame. <clears throat> Could it be a Merlin trial? I think so. All right, what do we got to do? Revelio. Oh, I got figured out. Also. Levioso. Wingardium Levioso. Yeah, this this puzzle believes me. Wait. I don't understand. Okay. Not sure how to do this one. Okay. We'll come back some. Too fast for that. Like, where'd it go? Wait, that I just saw. Okay, might be losing it, chat. I thought there was a thing right there. All right. Nice. Take this. I mean, you literally just walked around to a bunch of light things and touched them. An audience for incendio. Sick. It gets more powerful by the day. Revelio. This serious Wolfwoods is nothing to laugh at. Must pop balloons. Life mission. I don't know why it's so satisfactory. But it is. Alright, we're gonna leave these guys for now. We'll go we'll go hang with Sebastian. See what he needs. Guys. Balloons everywhere. Left these out here. Very negligent, really. Oh. 
Huzzah. There's like a merchant. A little community down here. Uh oh, serious, your butt's showing. There you go. Exposing himself. Hello, nice to meet you. Welcome. I am Bernard Indiai, and this is my shop. Is there anything I can help you with? <clears throat> I'm curious to know what's happening in Feldcroft. Might you have any insight? An incredibly Something unpleasant happening? goblin called Belgroff the Bludgeoner has been tormenting everyone he encounters. Excuse me. Felcroft borders goblin country, but we've always lived in peace with their kind. Until recently, that is. Some claim that Belgroff and his associates are in league with Ranlock. I don't know if there's truth to it. Whatever the case, their constant meddling is devastating business. Everyone feels unsafe. It's quite serious. That's my name. What brought you to own a shop in Feldcroft? Beautiful place, isn't it? Although I admit I didn't choose it, it chose me. I was raised here. It's always been my home. As for the shop, I suppose my line of work chose me as well. I've always loved working with beasts. And my twin girls adore them. Wouldn't be surprised if they took over from me one day. What do you sell here? Glad you asked. I sell the finest array of beast byproducts you'll find in the entire countryside. If you don't believe me, feel free to look about. Eventually you'll return. They always do. All right, what let's take a look at these. What are we in the Mountain. market for today? Okay, nothing. Have I mentioned you're welcome to stop by any time? Ah, uh, thank you. All right, Sebastian, what do we got going on today? The y'all goober. Wait till daylight, classic. You made it. Oh, I should have done a little look for those moonstone things. Enjoying the view? Keeping an eye on things. Feldcroft isn't what it used to be. No one has felt safe here since Ranrock's loyalists took a peculiar interest in that castle over there. Rookwood Castle. My uncle Solomon is a former Aura and refuses to look into it. Even after Anne was cursed by one of them. Possibly with a wand, no less. I heard a goblin hmm. refer to wizard kind as wand carriers. A goblin's forbidden from carrying wands. Precisely. That's why I'm on the hunt for answers. If I'm to cure her, I need to understand what happened to her. Anne was always the most mischievous of the three of us. Which is saying something, knowing me and Ominous. I'm hoping a surprise visit from me and a new friend from Hogwarts will help lift her spirits. Bring back the Anne I used to know. Come on. I'll take you to my uncle's. This way. Sweet. Going Felt to meet the fam. A lot livelier. With Ranrock's lot wandering about all the time, everyone stays out of sight. Hold on, Sebastian. Priorities. There's one more out there somewhere. Here we are. My sister should be just inside. That's a pretty cool little house. Aha! Sebastian, where did you... Is that what I think it is? We've been over this, boy. Hey. Shrivel pigs cannot reverse a curse. Nothing can. All right, Mr. Grouch. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. He just destroyed it. But we haven't tried everything. There is no cure. 
All right, I feel a little bad when for Sebastian now. When will you accept now. that? Never. I can never accept it. <laughs> no, this is, this, this is sad. I'm sorry. <laughs> He's just, he's just a dude who's trying his best, you know? Trying to help his sister. I'm sorry you had to see that. If you don't mind, I just need a moment right, alone. Sebastian, your, your, your jacket's Sebastian. a little. Mom, there's a heat out for. Okay. It's just gonna leave him. Revelio. A look at that wand handle. Let's check it out. Oh yeah, that's the one. Now we know he ain't winning Father of the Year. Yeah, right. Revelio. Yeah, I kind of. I was hesitant about him. Now I feel bad for him. Wait, there's dudes like right here. Oh, those are dummies. I was like, y'all just let the enemy in your backyard hang out? A little unreasonable. That boy will fray my last nerve. Bro. Excuse me, Mr. Sallow. Oh, yes. Sebastian's friend. I apologize on behalf of my nephew. He doesn't know when to stop. He thinks he can help Anne. Oh, but nothing can be done for her. It could be that you've not yet discovered the cure. Ah, you sound like Sebastian, thinking you know better than the healers at St. Mungo's. Perhaps the healers don't know everything, sir. Sebastian is single-mindedly focused on finding a way to help his sister. If there is a cure, he will find it. Your faith in Sebastian is misplaced. Some sort of dark magic cursed Anne, and the goblins aren't likely to explain themselves any time soon. Giving her hope is cruel. The only thing to do now is keep Anne comfortable and stay out of the Loyalists' way. Mm -mm. Now we take it to the Loyalists. Kick some ass. With all due respect, sir, hope could keep Anne's spirits up. You may mean well, but I know what's best for Anne and Sebastian. They are my stubborn brother's children. Especially Sebastian. If you really want to be of help, you'll make sure Sebastian does what he should do not what he wants to do. He's we'll see, no buddy. We'll idea see. the harm he could do if he doesn't stop. Hmm. I mean, he might be. I hope you remember. He might be onto something. Said. Good day. He might be onto something. But also, he's I'm kind of a sorry grouch. Sorry about earlier. Those bouts of pain are difficult to bear. Are you all right, Anne? I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't, truly. <laughs> and I'm all right. The pain from this curse comes in bouts, and often suddenly, it's not anyone's fault. It's nice to meet you, by the way. You must be the new fifth year Sebastian told me about. I am. Sebastian and I met during a rather lively duel in defense against the dark arts. Oh dear, Professor Hecate. She's a powerful witch. And she knows how to keep students like my brother, and me, in line. I do miss Hogwarts. But I wouldn't mind being in Feldcroft, really, if it wasn't so dreary now. Between the goblins at the castle and my we'll uncle fixing. fighting we'll with Sebastian whenever he's home. It's not the cozy retreat it once was. Sebastian mentioned something about your uncle being an ex-aura, but refusing to go after Ranrock's Cops are out looking for all the said, <laughs> I wasn't prepared for him to be yeah, as right. angry as he was. Uncle get Solomon is frustrated by what happened to me and by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it. Both mean well, I know they do, but my uncle is right. This curse cannot be undone. I can feel it. Mm. Sebastian cannot take away my pain. Perhaps you can help him to understand that. I'll do my best. I can promise this. All right, if that's what she wants. Thank you. His search for a cure is futile, I'm afraid. I'm getting tired. I should probably rest. Thank you for stopping by. That's so sad. I wish you well. I ought to see how Sebastian's faring. Alright, well. 
I mean, Sebastian's still kind of a dick, but... Why will he not listen to me? Still a little bad She's for him. my sister. How are you doing, Sebastian? You got a first-hand glance of what I'm dealing with. I apologize for my uncle. I know he's angry, but he's only trying to do what he thinks is best for Anne. He's always angry. He's been angry since my parents died. After Anne was hurt, he only grew worse. It's as though he blames me somehow, always calling me my father's son, as if that's an insult. I'm the one trying to help her. He's simply given up. Both Anne and your uncle seem genuinely convinced that nothing more can be done for her. I refuse to believe that. Anne's pain is more than physical. It has changed her entirely. I miss my sister. And I'm going to get her back. Come with me. I need to show you where it happened. Ranrock's loyalists are capable of so much more than people realize. They should not be underestimated. We can go kick some butt. Go All the debris you'll we'll see is from whatever's going on at that abandoned estate. They've Get been revenge. digging for something. Look, they don't call me the Yeti Hunter for nothing. Ooh, cow. <gasps> Get in. Get in my bag. Up Get there, in my bag. Plateau, you can't catch cows either. Down. This game. This way. So many missed opportunities. No, Sebastian, you. Very hairy. Move along. Move along. <clears throat> How much longer are we expected to dig through this rubble? Ramrock knows what he's doing. It's an honor to be a part of it. Okay, that's I don't want to feed him. Next. Revelio. We're just going straight in, Sebastian? Is that the plan here? Do a little shock and awe. Hey, everybody. Watch this. Boom. He's done. Next. He's done. Oh, my gosh. Yo, what? Yo, what? Ouch. Okay. That hurt. No! Yeah. Okay. Uh, thanks, Sebastian. You've made your last mistake. <clears throat> no, please. Yeah. Sure. Come here. Yeah, you want some of this? Ouch. Yeah. Hi. They just keep coming? No! Oh, you're lucky. You're so lucky. What's, uh... Where's that? Thunder. Lightning all around. Suckers. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you get zapped? Let's go pick up another fight. Come on, Sebastian. You're done already? Come on, buddy. Those loyalists deserved what they got. Couldn't agree more. This is where it happened. We smelled smoke in the middle of the night. 
When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate. Before my uncle and I could stop her, Anne rushed out, racing towards the fire, worried someone would be hurt. Aww. She came face to face sweetheart. with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the flames. Suddenly, an icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Children should be seen and not heard. A blinding blast followed. Dang. They didn't even give her a chance to run. It seems an awfully violent response to a child wandering by. What were they trying to hide? My thoughts exactly. It may be grasping at Billywigs, but I keep Billy thinking Wigs? that there might be something here that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne. Might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed her, which could help me find a cure. Perhaps you're right. The loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here, and it's likely they're hiding something. And at Rookwood Castle. Shall we have a look around? They Rebellion. seem to have set up camp here for a specific reason. They have stations for everything. Whose home was this? It's been abandoned long since I've lived here. Home? Rude Somebody lived Hogwarts. in this thing? Hogwarts professor lived here once, centuries ago. But that's all I ever heard. I've heard that goblin dig sites like these are popping up everywhere. Hmm. Hmm. It's a wonder the ministry isn't doing more. Revelio. So they're digging for something? Always armed and ready for a fight. Oh, shields are pretty dope. It might be worth taking a Yeah, we're getting there. We're gonna cover our bases out here, Sebastian. I wanna miss a clue. Sebastian, I've seen this before. This oh. house, the well, the view. What do you mean? When? Give me a moment. I'll explain in a second. Oh, is this supposed to parallel the... Rebellion. Okay. <clears throat> this well looks familiar. Yeah, this is totally supposed to parallel the other story of the girl. Or something, right? There's some sort of overlap. Sebastian. The main story. Over here. Do you think that this was damaged by the fire the night that Anne was cursed? Could be. But it looks to me as though this was intentional. Hmm, maybe. Revelio. Because, yeah, this is the same village that the... Ancient, the, um, the whatever they're called. The dudes in the wall. And the little pensive memories. Things and stuff. The stuff and things, you know? What did I miss it? Oh, treasure. Sebastian, this house did belong to a Hogwarts professor. Hundreds yeah, of years ago. Okay. Who? What do you? I found a pensive that day in the restricted <clears> section <throat> with a memory that showed this house. Careful what you share, that Sebastian. A girl, or uh, serious. A drought. The keepers have shown me other memories as well. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Her name was Isadora Morganock. She was one of the keepers. The keepers, like in Quidditch, and you found a pensive in the library. I'm not following. Think I'm sharing too I much. It's a lot to take in. I'm not even sure I understand it all yet. And no, not like Quidditch. They call themselves keepers because they're protecting some type of knowledge. It has to do with the vault at Gringotts. Let me see if I've got this straight. You have Ranrock and Rookwood after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. And now you've been witnessing memories left by keepers. Oh. And this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor who was one of these non-Quidditch keepers hundreds of years ago. If I didn't know you, I'd think you were pulling my leg. It is all a bit much, isn't it, when you put it like that? The point is, we both have good reason to search this house. 
You for answers about what happened to Anne, and me for answers about the Keepers. Revelia, look at this. Yes. Someone piled mm. this here for a reason. Is it blocking something? Only one way to find out. Ooh. Huh. A stairwell. Revelio. Ooh. Descend into the darkness. Why bother blocking a stairwell? There might be something here worth a closer look. They've left all of this simply strewn about. It tells me they're after something bigger. Oh. Oh, a journal entry. My second week in the camp. More arrive each day. The muggle doctors and even some of our own healers are doing all they can for me. For them. If it's palpable, the ones who have survived the plague are forever damaged by their loss. A fever may pass, the skin may meld and mend and scar, but the devastating sorrow remains. I saw a man much like my father who had lost a child. I couldn't bear it. I longed to give him some shred of relief, begging, beginning to think that the others are wrong. I have the power to help these souls. It seems as arbitrary not to help them and to get rid of their torment. A journal entry of Isadora's. Mm -hmm. I should hold on to this. Do those hurt? Hurt. Ow. Um, let's get our little light. Lumos. Traveled here to learn, but I long to help. My internal struggle is overwhelming. It's as though the magic wants to heal and I'm the one preventing it from doing so. Should I lose hope? Will I forever regret not having done more? I cannot look into their eyes knowing that I could lessen the burden of hell. Heartache. I saw the man leaving camp today, the one who was reminded me of my father. <clears throat> Surely it wouldn't help hurt to help him. I could further my research, of course, but that would be a fortuitous consequence of doing something good with this ability. Okay. Seems these journal entries are from Isadora's travels. Are there more entries? I think there's something behind there. Oh, oh, there we go. Lumos. How do the pines go away when you have the light? Just trying to see what I was doing. You're not going to believe this. Ooh. I can see the undercroft. What? A daydream. Because that <coughs> happens to me too. Can I go into it? I know it sounds strange, but... Honestly, I... nothing you say sounds strange to me anymore. Fair enough. I can see the undercroft through this stone wall as though it's a window. This has happened before. I'm listening. I have a rare ability to see whispers of ancient magic. Okay, serious. I You're just telling them everything. I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. <laughs> I knew you weren't telling me everything. Ancient magic. Oh boy. What does that even mean? I'm not entirely sure, but the keepers have said that it's a power. Must be part of the story, otherwise it would have given me an option not to tell him you. this. And but you I'm not comfortable it. with this decision. I don't know, but Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. What I do know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows, I see. Wait. We can get straight to the Undercroft, from here. <laughs> Ominous will be flawed. We can. But perhaps best not to tell anyone else about this for now. Even Ominous. Understood. Ominous didn't Well then, invisible secret ancient magic passageway? Here we come. I'm tempted to hold my breath. Sweet. This feels like a definitely a bigger mission. A lot of stuff. A lot of story. Why would the door lead us here? Sebastian, look. What? 
why hide a triptych here? Seems Rebellion. as if something's missing. A note. I'll say. Let's have a look. Hmm. You're gonna find the Anything other pieces. Anything helpful in the note? Not, not really. A rune symbol. I've seen similar symbols used by the keepers. I've been thinking. A keeper lived in that house centuries ago, and Ranrock and his lot have been searching there. You said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. Do you think Anne was cursed by ancient magic? I can't be sure, of course, but I don't think so. I didn't see any traces of it around your sister. Yeah, mm. I can heal her because I have Very ancient well. magic. But that doesn't mean it's not ancient magic. There's still so much we don't know about it. Okay, that's true. Fair. Good point. Perhaps this triptych will lead us to answers. Then we'll have to unravel what this all means. But now I need to see Ominous. Don't worry. I won't tell him anything. I don't Did know, I Sebastian. Apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here in Hogwarts. He Sounds like not. a Slytherin thing to do. Sounds worth looking into. Any idea where in the castle? No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I'll let you know what I find out. I had no idea our visit to Sian would unfold into all of this. My head's an utter mess. But I'm glad you told me everything you did. I'll be in touch. Rebellion. Nice. Leveled up. All right. Yes. Yes. Okay. Fun. Um, yeah, a lot of story there. Not really a quest. Meet me near the ruins of Falbarton Castle. After dark, do not tell anyone. Natty. The high keep Natty is waiting for me. Okay. I'm like way leveled above this stuff. A lot of missions to do before I'm able to go and meet the next keeper. Uh, to attend astronomy. Might be a good time to go hit some classes. Go and harvest flux weed, acquire all three combat, use them simultaneously, return to Professor Sharp. Bindo. So this stuff's all side quests. So I think we're gonna go, let's go check on our flux seed. Check our gear. Yeah. Nothing good. It's a lot of story now. Do you want to do something about the uncle? Wait. Do you want to do something about the uncle later? What do you mean? Can I do something about the uncle? Tell him to be a nicer person. Beat him up a little bit. I mean, no, I wouldn't. Yeah. Does he have a mission? Go down there. Tell him what for. What's in here, you? Greater effect. He's stuck with stupefy remain stunned. I don't use stupefy a whole lot. I think we need more dark arts.
Okay, we're gonna wait for the rest. Hey, Jake, how you doing today? Welcome, welcome. <clears throat> what Spare a moment. I could use your help. Hey, now this kid. What do you need? You wanted to speak with me. I did. Hello, I'm Duncan Hobhouse. Oh, I haven't met him yet. Pleasure I thought it was. You. I've heard all about you, of oh, course. Boy. Confronting trolls. Good. Uh, I'm doing pretty good. It's Friday. How's uh, how's your Friday Friday treating you? You got any fun weekend plans? I suppose it must seem that way. I'm not sure it's justified. It's often been a matter of circumstance. I'm going to presume your reputation is in the fact warranted. In which case, you are precisely the person I need. You see, you can do something about we the uncle. I won't say what, but you can do something. Uh, class, okay, should I go back well, down there? Is that what you're telling me? Unfortunately, took the shape of a, a puff scheme. So I'll go back down there. They're adorable. Why would I should you have gone with a real dick answer. They seem adorable until one sticks its tongue up your nose. Well, Regardless okay. of how reasonable I believe my fear of puff schemes to be, I'm beginning to get a reputation as a coward. Some have even taken to calling me Puff Skeen Dunkeen. It's pretty good. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you have to admit that's rather clever. I do not have to admit that. Ever said the same thing. Looks like that kid got stung anyway, by bees in the face. To make yeah, right. Worse, you can I save it for later. Okay. Out that I must be Don't let me forget. Think, since I have been in the hidden herbology corridor. The hidden herbology corridor. Yes. Is that Rumor code for something? That the I want to go to the hidden herbology. Professor Garlic kept corridor. dangerous plants there. It's supposedly so overrun now that no one dares enter it anymore. I was hoping you could go there and bring back evidence that I could use to show that, well, I'd gone in. Say a bit of an Leave exceptionally it, dangerous hey. plant of some kind. You're okay. Do that. Yes, that's a good boy. Very well. If I'm in the area, perhaps I shall take a look. Grand. I'd very much appreciate it. Code Come for and something. Find me if you get the proof, I shall be forever in your debt. Not too shabby, tired, but finished up streaming. Nothing much for the weekend. How about you? Nice. I uh, I got a hmm. hidden herbology corridor. Sounds intriguing. Meeting with a recent, or I think to be, uh, film student grad tomorrow um talk about film stuff and otherwise that's about all i got planned this weekend let's go let's go to back to our little room of requirement montana leave it looks like harry potter but he was stung by bees yeah it does i can't unsee it now it really does this puffy little face. Hasn't seen this Montana, leave it. Go to your spot. That's it? Hey, Montana, that's it? Come on, buddy. Sit. <gasps> Good boy. There you go. A little harvesting. That thunder brew? That stuff is pretty sick. The, like, storm that forms around you? I dig it. How'd, that, how'd your streaming go, Jake? Let's put... Children. What do I get? Oh, I need... Dogweed and death cat. See, I still don't know where that is. I feel... Kind of lame. I don't know where that is, but I don't. I could not find it on the map. Hold on. I gotta let Montana out real quick. Don't go anywhere. Apologies. Oh, oh, I see. 
good good finish up mario odyssey just in time to start new star wars next week oh nice oh yeah that's coming out next week huh sick quick while he's gone oh you guys weren't fast enough all right montana let's go to your spot that's it all right this is from jake yes good boy all right we got three hydrates i need it that's okay Thank you. <clears throat> okay, what should we do? Just three. I want to name the animals. That's that's fair. I mean, I do technically have more animals to name. I just gotta cycle them out, right? Should we name animals? Are you ready to name animals? Where are all my animals? They left me. There they are. What do we have left? We have these two, the floppers. We don't have to name them now. I just figured we're here. Um. Okay. I keep venomous valor. Oh, find and enter the. Yeah, we can. We can do that. I gotta figure out where blueberry. Okay, that one's pretty good. For the blue one. And the other one's got this like. Which one's should we... let's take out the Where's my bag? We're gonna take out the birds. I look after you. Where's drumstick? Drumstick! Montana, you got your unicorn. There you are. Come here. Blueberry and strawberry. Okay. Professor Howell will never believe this. Look at them. They're so dumb looking. All right. So we got blueberry. Sister wife, strawberry. Why oh, is that sister wife? Uh, strawberry. It's beautiful. What? Thank you for the bits, Jake. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. You are a star in my book. If anybody asks, get some whopper feathers or whatever these things make. <clears throat> uh, thank you, Jake. I, I appreciate that a lot. I gotta, I gotta set up some, get some bits so I can share the love sometime. Or you're, are, Jake, you're not streaming on Twitch like at all, right? You're just on YouTube. I got these right, right? Yeah. The red one's strawberry, the blue one's blueberry. It's perfect. They're literally walking berries. Biddies. Yeah. Yeah, they are. Nice. Alright. I think Mac will be good with that. Not that he has a say, but he'll appreciate it. You should be proud of all We're all in this together, you know? This will be more useful when I have something to identify. I I really the the what's that store? I do not know where this place is. Like half tempted just to look it up because I feel like I should know by now. Yeah, I've got back to just YouTube. I get more views there, and I'm already monetized. Yeah, that's that's nice. Wait, 
quests disappearing on me. Bookshop. Where is this place? Does anyone know? New sons, honey dukes. That's uh What place? It's, um... Oh, what's it called? The place where you get, like... Oh, there it is! It's outside of town. Ah, okay. Well... Now we know. It's flew on over there. North? Yeah, thank you, Wong Tong. Found it. Finally. I don't know why that was so hard to find it. Like, looked a while ago, too. Right, now I feel stupid. It's right here. <clears throat> it's outside of town, of course. Old grubbing creatures. I just want the seeds to plant. And, I guess, to buy some so I can do Professor Garlic's next thing. I'll take care of uh, the Rebellion. Harry Potter wannabe. Nice. Hi. Don't mind me. I'm just going to go ahead and steal your prized possessions. First year cap. Okay, you don't need that. You did get away with all those dark wizards? Oh, I can't believe it. Well, what say we show you something? All right, here we go. Uh, I want this. Oh, I'm and always this. thrilled when a young one and makes a wise purchase. <gasps> Not enough money. You'll go far. No. But your things will be safe with me until they're sold. Then you'll have to make do with money. Okay, that should be good still. I don't need. Perfect. Oh, I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you'll go far. And his chomping cabbage. Oh, that's 600. Okay, that's fine. We'll go plant some. Buy one of these. Wanna be? Doors always open. You be sure to We're gonna go try to you. break in some places and steal some money real quick. Revelio. Go back to our secret room. Plant some stiff. Wanna be Harry Potter? Rude. Rude. What? Deke hasn't seen this many times. Mm, wrong way. I need to build another one of these. Big old planters. <clears throat> yeah. Go ahead and plant a uh, man -take. And the other one. Chinese chomping cabbage. The Bulbasaurs. Perfect. Alright. Let's go help this kid out. Bum, bum, bum. This music is so good. Can't help myself. Excuse me. Let's 
follow the yellow brick road where it stops nobody knows You're not eating that, are you, Montana? Ugh. You can't just eat over the rail? That's unfortunate. You know, it's nice to see a game with, like, some clothing play. Like, that scarf is really just shifting when you run. It's nice. It's a lot of, a lot of processing power just on shifting scarfs. Or ways herbology. I didn't think it would be like a what? <gasps> Book. Akio. Got it. Gotta catch them all. I feel like bringing the Harry Potter series after. Oh, binging the Harry Potter. Yeah. Dude, those movies are so good. They're already remaking them, so you know, there's that. They won't let you eat over the rail, but they'll allow you to fight goblins. Well, yeah, of course. Wait, what? Oh, is this where the hidden... Rebellio. These dry vines are one spark away from becoming kindling. Mm -hmm. Incendio! There, right here. Ooh. Hidden Herbology Corridor. Ooh, I'm going into Professor Garlic's Hidden Herbology Corridor. Dream come true. This must be the entrance to the Hidden Herbology Corridor. Devil's Snare seems to thrive in darkness. Ouch. Perhaps okay. it doesn't care for light. Oh, that's Lose. why. Okay. Yeah, that's why the stuff was reacting before to my light. Okay. Nope, not what I wanted to do. Okay. Rebellion. Well, that's this way. Confringo. Ooh. Chest. Back here. Let's get it. Black leather gloves that are great. Expelliarmus. Five Lumos. points for Gryffindor. Well, this is kind of terrifying. They're like right above your head. Confringo. Seems the devil's snare was protecting a chest of some kind. Ouch. Revelio. Confringo. Oh, was I supposed to do this before I jumped into the middle of them? Probably. It's just a flesh wound? Yeah, it's just vines lacerating your skin. No big deal. <clears throat> I imagine a piece of that enormous venomous tentacular would be enough for Duncan to prove his bravery. Oh, do I want that though? Incendio. Rebellion. Money. Incendio. Get that money. Oh yeah. This thing could like eat me whole. Is this what Professor Garlic hides down here? Do it, I dare you. Revelio. 
Incendio. Put some magic on it, it'll be all right. Yeah, a little bit of magic, a little fairy dust, sprinkle it. Oh. Wait, where did we just... Magic. Okay, it doesn't seem as hidden. Alright, let's go find Beasting Boy. Ooh, fancy. Keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenodia's gobstones. Well, what's in here? Revelio. I swear, if it's that same gobstone again, then that thing like 12 times. And by 12, I mean two. Have you found anything to uh, prove my bravery? Yeah, yet? Hello, Duncan. knock off. I have the proof. Harry Potter. Wanted. That's one leaf. Must have been a giant venomous tentacular. It's even more than I expected. I knew you were the one to ask. Why'd you make me do this? If you I really want to prove, you, for me. you could have just worked up the courage and done it yourself. I might just keep this. Nah, I'll help him of out. Course. Poor kid, he's I got enough. This helps you prove yourself. Got enough going on in life sure looking like that. Poor kid. For good. When I show everyone in the common room tonight, this will show everyone how ridiculous pumpkins look that amazing. nickname was. Thank you again, and have a good day. I know I will. All right, Duncan. Thank you for all of your help. No more puff scheme dunking for me. Yeah, the Halloween, the pumpkin Halloween decorations look pretty dope. School for Zenobia's gobstones. Tis the season. Revelio. Okay, where's this guy's stone? Got one of these. Levioso. Revelio. Maybe this is a different court card. Maybe they just look the same. We're gonna go with that. They just look very similar. Well, it feels like I've gotten it before. There's so many glowing things. Ooh, we can do Hello, this Hamora. Revelio. Lunchtime. I'll see you Monday. Have fun collecting those gobstones. All right, Reckless. Thanks for hanging. See you Monday. Have a good weekend. Ciao. Rebellio. We're gonna eventually get to whatever's dinging. It's gonna happen. Press her bins. And uh, I must say, I was baffled. Bloody bloody blue. Is there a flying book I saw? Got it. Oh, here we go. You will chime no more. Man, this is just like the corridor of hidden 
hidden pages or something. Magic windows. Oh, we stopped it. We got it all. Should see if we can't find that little. Where to go? Here it is. Lumos. Where you go? Come here, little butterfly. Where do you live at? Let me go. Maybe we should find where that butterfly goes before. Revelio. Oh. That painting up there, maybe? That's where it is. That one? Where is that? Yeah. That one. Yeah. I got it. Lumos. Yep, totally. Perfect. Little butterfly, where'd you go? There you are. Come here. Found your home. It's just right over here. Come on, little buddy. You ever think of podcasting? Uh, I mean, I've thought about it. I haven't really. I don't know. I don't know what I podcast about. I don't think I'm eloquent enough for a podcast. Stutter. Have trouble speaking. Get all over the place. Get distracted with. Any sudden movements. It's a real problem. Why do you ask? Have you uh, considered or have you started a podcast? Oh, there's only there's only two more. And we'll like collections hunt while my plants grow right now. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gulpstones. Alright, where's that taking me? It says that when there's one close by, typically. Revelio. And there's gotta be one close by somewhere. seeing it though okay thought about it i uh, got a pal who wants to do one you've got the voice for it so i was just wondering uh thank you i hate the sound of my own voice but i guess that's pretty common for a lot of people i mean i think if i did any sort of podcast thing it'd probably be about video games since it's like the industry i feel like i understand the most though i went to film school um I'd, I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Uh, yeah. Fine book. So yeah, I don't know. I mean, I've thought about it. I just don't know if I can hold a conversation long enough for it. There it is. Just one more gobstone. In a podcast. I definitely would. Couldn't probably do it by myself. That would get real boring and lame. Mono. Tone. Talking to myself about shenanigans. <clears throat> now you see me, now you don't. Sucker. Ooh, another one of these puzzles. We just keep stumbling across stuff. Oh, oh. Oh, it's a key. Uh, I'm guessing you're supposed to find this 
before you're able to do any of them. But. Okay, well, that explains it. Yeah, so it starts with zero. So, what is this now? Plus, right? Two plus mm, hydra, zero, one, two, three, the five, so that's four. Zero, one, two, three, four. It's the weird owl thing. Go and then one three zero one two three hydra right no I just flipped the wrong one how does that even happen go back <laughs> if it's recorded you could write a script and stick to it the best you can and I feel like it's not that big of a jump from live streaming or video making to podcasting. Yeah, I guess that's fair. I think the the one thing that I that's nice with streaming is like not to sound lazy or anything. I just don't have a lot of time to like sit around and edit stuff. And I think if I had a, a I got streaming to a point where it's like I'm comfortable just uploading the streams on YouTube. I'm not doing a lot of editing. Some of my early streams that I haven't put anywhere because. I'd spent so much time trying to fix them and edit them like just don't exist and it just became a huge time sink and so i think there's an aspect of it that's like recording it it'd be easier as far as yeah i get what you're saying i think it'd be easier it, it would be a lot of work because it'd have to work out a script and it's just time wise like if if i was doing it full time it'd be a different story like definitely that would be my job but it's like i have an, another job so it's just hard to really take a lot of time to get that stuff done i guess is what i'm trying to say in a roundabout way um in streaming is kind of nice because it's like you know you just wing it and i got to a point where technically everything's working well enough for the most part that i don't have to do a lot of work after streaming to upload so it's kind of a you know one-to-one -one as far as getting content up online um but yeah i don't know a podcast might be good i think if i did that it probably want to start out like doing shorter stuff and just kind of give it a go you know see how it goes but that's cool your buddy's doing it um or wants to do one gotcha what uh what does your buddy uh want to do one on 15 oh this is all symbols okay so we got crab thing salamander so zero one two Five and six, four. That whole thing again. Oops. I don't know. I've thought about. I need to get to a point where, and I'm getting to a point streaming wise where I feel like it's just a well-oiled machine turning out. I mean, there's some stuff I want to add and like tweak and whatnot, but as far as the technicality of it like it's all working well and i want to get to a point where i start doing clips and uploading like smaller edits of stuff but again it's just the time that i don't have uh 13 plus zero oh five crab dude <clears throat> there we go Like, yeah, I think it's Revelio. Ooh, a crest. Nice. Um, it'd be interesting to talk to my buddy. Uh, I don't know, Jake, if you know him, but um, I know some of you others that are here, Squatting Dog or Jer, um, because I know he was struggling with the, like, producing content, streaming all day, and then rolling out short videos and editing that stuff. And it's just, like, it's a lot of work. I try to help him out a little bit with one of his spots. I don't know if he was happy with it, but I edited it for him. Um, yeah, it's just, it's a lot of work. Like, and doing it as a full-time job is one thing, but like I have a full-time job editing. I think partially it's like my full-time job is editing video game trailers already, so it's like I can edit for 8 to 12 hours depending on 
the client and the the project and then turn around and have to edit my own stuff just doesn't sound like that much fun sounds like a chore more than fun i want to you know want to have fun not like i enjoy what i do but if i was doing it for 16 18 hours a day like it gets exhausting um okay six plus five eleven gonna be oh that's gonna be over right five yeah that's gonna be salamander this doesn't go that high did they change up the equation on me right the crab thing's five. That's eleven. I need another six, but six is on the opposite side, and this doesn't spin that high. Hmm. I did something different. Uh, so that's seven, zero, and one. Oh, both of them are okay. So there must be a. They tricked me. They switched it up. We're talking about doing one together. Not sure. I'm thinking just different talking points, whatever we feel, I guess. I've got the same problem time-wise. I've got two channels now, and I'd like to do a third, even and then podcasting also, and I still have to work. Yeah, yeah, it's just a lot. I don't know. You did editing for work. That's awesome. Yeah, it's fun. I, it's, I enjoy it. I do video editing, um, doing video game trailers, which... Yeah, it's pretty dope. I definitely, it's a fun job. But yeah, just editing on top of editing. <clears throat> Is it a multiplication? No, because six times five is way too high. Any clues in here? Any notes? No papers? Tell me. The vision, maybe? No, but you wouldn't get. Mm. Yeah, that's the other thing, too, is like I still. I have dreams of doing a. a another channel doing brewing mead and whatnot and so yeah yeah i don't know it's just a lot right, going down that rabbit hole i mean we can just do it you know the old-fashioned way So, Salamander. Oh, it was on there. Oh, uh, okay. I think I just didn't pay attention enough. He's talking. You distracted me. Zero to nine. Yeah. Yeah, I think it swapped. It swapped them. It swapped the pattern of what was in the question marks, and I just assumed it was the same as all the others. Uh, tricky, tricky buggers. All right. <clears throat> it's rough for sure. I struggle with what I've got going now, but I'd like to add more to get more revenue streams so I can do it full time soon, hopefully. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the dream for, you know, <clears throat> content creators is kind of shift depending on what your career is or what you do for work kind of shift over to 
I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gulps, those. Okay. Doing this full time, but I think for me it's one of those things. It's like I enjoy it, but I enjoy my my job too, and I don't imagine ever not doing that. But it's also it's interesting because like when I started doing this a little over a year ago, it's like it was so much. Like it consumed so much of my time and my energy just streaming for like two hours a morning. I started out doing it every day of the week. Um, Granted, nobody knew I was streaming back then, but, like, I was still trying to do it. Mac was here with me. Um, but it gets to a point where it's, like, as you get more... There it is. Got it. I think. You think? It didn't before. That other boy was like... Um, as you, like, take on more and you get comfortable with it, at least for me, I found, like, taking on more tasks once you get comfortable with them it becomes easier to then like add something else to that list you know what i mean and so it's like okay like it might be kind of overwhelming and stressful to do add something now but eventually you get to a point where it's like you can handle it and then i think i might be done with these doors for now rebellious the numbers they're there and there okay i will right, just do this real quick um <clears throat> yeah yeah, you kind of are able to add more and more to your plate. You know, obviously to a certain limit, but meat making is always cool, but slow. Yeah, I, I freaking love meat. I mean, I haven't, my last batch is still February, and I've let it sit. Because it was a two-week brew, some raspberry mint, and talked to an actual, like, brew guy at a shop uh, that was basically like, hey, if it's not good after three weeks, because I was having a trouble where after, like, two to three weeks it wasn't very good. Like, let it sit for longer until it turns good again. Like, okay. And I had it, like, a month and a half later. And it was so freaking good. So, it's just sitting there. Growing. Wisdom. Uh, 23. So, 15. 4, 5. Make my last night. That's 2. So, 17. What, 5? Math is hard. No, that's... Yeah, that's five. Six. Oh my gosh. So, Salamander? Why harassing me now? Yeah, see, they... That would be all sneaky. Uh, 19. We got... Nine... Plus... Three, so 12... Oh, that's octopus head thing. Is that? Yeah, once you have a schedule of what you have to do in the week, it gets easier. Yeah, for sure. Once you kind of figure out how to make it all work together. I don't know, and I still want to do more more writing. Like my other. Didn't I get all the gobstones? What else is there? Yeah. Okay, let's go turn them in. I think that's the next thing that, like, meat will be fun, and every now and then I'll definitely do a batch and maybe eventually, like, expand. Because my, my dream with meat is to, like, actually expand. Um, be able to make, like, larger batches. Excuse me. And there's a couple local like breweries and like restaurants around here that are like smaller. Keep an eye on high places That'd be really cool. To I mean, it would get complicated, but it'd be really cool to look into. Actually, whoa, sick armor there, bro. Um, actually, off on another adventure, are we? Trying to stock up or like give away or I don't know how it would look, but maybe you know. Rebellion. Sell to some of the local breweries. I got in a position to do that, but that's like way down the road. It's gonna be real complicated over here in California. There are laws and regulations. I can't just make stuff in my bathtub and then sell it to people. Mm. Seventh year Hufflepuff. Yes. 
Get it, Hufflepuffs. That is a giant trophy. What else is dinging at me? Revelio. Accio. Oh. Wait, there's more than just the six? Revelio. Oh, gosh. I just wanted to get them all and be done. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school. For yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Freaking pages. Wait. 17 out of 50. That's got to be the last of all the pages, right? Can't be more than like another. Oh my gosh. 50 some pages. Oh, there's one for Roll armor. Where's the Yeti armor? Oh my gosh, there's more. I'm done. I'm done looking for this other page. Let's go upstairs. Oh, wait. No. I gotta go. Where's the person I gotta turn the gobstones into? Is it you? Oh, it's still having me chase him. No, I wanna... I wanna turn in the quest. Where do I go? Right. Mead making's a lot of trial and error. I've been at it for seven years. I think still working a lot better ways. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it took me, like, my th third or fourth. I think my fourth batch was actually, like, good drinkable. Batch two was, like, drinkable, but not very good. Um, but it's definitely one of those things. It's, like, every time I make, make a new batch, it's, like, getting better and better and better because you're, like, learning more and more. Um, yeah, and that experience, you just, like, keep getting better and better at it. It's great. Yeah, seven years, you definitely, your need wisdom is far suppresses mine. Okay, we're done looking for gobstones. You're just going to make me chase after shenanigans forever. We want to go up these stairs. This looks... I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's okay. gobstones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is sick. It's like some hidden... Where the heck even am I? What even is this place? Ooh, like the tallest tower. Revelio. Going all the way to the top. Level three, no. Lame. Let me go find some more of those moonstones. This is unlocked, though. Of course, there's a scroll here. Revelio. Headmaster's office gargoyle. Nice. Some way though. Want to go bigger with it. My bro's opening a bar soon, so hopefully I'll be able to put some there. Oh, that's awesome! Yeah, that'd be that'd be pretty cool. And you're out. Uh, where do you live again? You're uh, overseas, right? As far as not in the states. You're over in the EU, I believe. Um, yeah, that'd be that'd be awesome. Revelio. That's like so. We got there's a, a brewery down the street. It's like really good. Ohio. Oh, you're in Ohio. Why did I think you were in the EU? Oh, because you, you play ESL in the EU server. That's why. Star Cross. Um. <clears throat> Ooh. What is 
is this? Wait. Oh, interesting. Revelio. Now I play on EU because a lot of my viewers are from Europe. Gotcha. That makes sense. Okay. Never mind. You're in Ohio. I'm sure Ohio is a lot better than Chennet. Like homebrew mead than California is in like south places. But yeah, we, we got a brewery down the street that like I would love to take the next time I do a good batch. I want to take some to the guys there and have them try it. See what they think. And then there's another uh, our coffee shop, our cafe. I met the owner. Um, and he's like super cool guy and I gave him a smaller bottle of some mead and he like really liked it and he's actually looking at it in a couple years so Rebellion. it'll be a little while there you are Lumos. Um, but he's looking at wanting to open like a restaurant and get a liquor license and all that fun stuff and he's like yeah like be dope to have some of your mead maybe so we've kind of started that conversation but he's probably like two years out from that happening so it was like some people, I mean, I, I think the one thing with mead that I'm always like, cause from buying stuff from stores and whatnot is it doesn't seem like it travels well. And so I kind of just want to do like for local places, mostly around here in Southern California. Um, Twenty thirty left. Maybe there are more than another 30. Um, yeah, I kind of probably just do it local unless I can figure out how to actually like keep the flavors and, and transport it. But it just seems like there isn't any good meads. Jake, tell me if you found some that like you actually think are really good. But there, there's ones that are good, but nothing that comes close to like homebrewed mead, you know? Yeah, laws here are definitely different. I think the weird times I stream since Night Shift Life. Oh, yeah. But my viewers are from Europe. That makes sense. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school. Okay, for yeah, we know. Okay, I, uh, it's about 10.30. I probably should wrap up. I got a slower day at work, but I do need to check in. We're going to um, think, see if we got any better gear real quick. We got some stuff to identify. Let's, let's pop back to our little rumor requirement real quick. Get our plants and then i think next on monday we should be geared up to go hit a couple classes go see professor garlic again um and uh, yeah and then maybe go meet natty yeah monday might be a, a fairly productive busy day today was good i mean we did that mission with sebastian um it was definitely a lot of very story heavy yeah. Let's identify. Okay. Ooh, we got a hat that's better. We gotta keep our Yeti Hunter look though. Keep it going. Good there. Face wear anything. No. Oh. Nice. We're gonna change that to our Safety goggles, though, our flight goggles. Don't want to get bugs in the eye, you know? In the mouth, that's okay. In the eyes, mm -mm. Very stylish. Where's my flap cap? There. You know, I just, I have the look. I'm pretty happy with it, so I don't see a point in changing. The undergarments are... I'm fine changing every now and then. And there's something better. The rest of it, it's a look. You know, I appreciate it. I appreciate a good look on my wizard. Nab and stuff. Gotta, at some point, need to clean up and organize my little room of requirement mess. Just like thrown down tables wherever I see fit. Sick. All right. Ooh, did we get any? Oh, we have 
all of the plants collected. Nice. Killed some more enemies. But man, there's a lot of gear styles to find. Wow, yeah, and there's still a lot of... Oh, these are Revelio pages. There's 150? Oh my gosh, okay. That's a lot. But I was getting close. The game was like, uh, no, sorry. Not even. Not even remotely. Ooh. Bombarda. Gotta get Bombarda. That sounds fun. Yeah, everyone tells me the meads I make are better than the more mass-produced product, and I've got to uh, got to WV try these guys' homebrews with his own. Oh, the one of the best I've had. Ooh, also part of the plan is to make my own honey for my mead soon. See, that's yeah, that's pretty awesome. I need to actually before I do my next batch, we got a, a local bee guy that I got the contact info for him that I need to hit up and see if I can buy like in bulk and save some money because it's my honey's like it's like 25 I think it's like 12 bucks a jar so like 24 bucks for two jars per like half gallon of mead which is just a lot of money but his honey's so good so I want to try to buy in bulk save a little bit of money in the long run hopefully um, but ideally I kind of want to be in the same place of like buy a small little bee harvest farm thing honey harvest or whatever they're called and like make my own but we'll see we'll see that it gets then you just I don't, know. I don't know i think it's fun but west virginia uh, i didn't know if that was a state abbreviation gotcha that makes sense yeah my i got one of my other cousins that makes some really good longer brewed mead like seven month uh, he made some, like, elderberry mead two years ago. I'm only at 18 hours. Game's crazy. Yeah. Anyway. Um, this game is a lot of fun. A lot of good story stuff going on. Should we, uh, should we raid somebody? What do we got? Who's, who's streaming right now? I need to wrap up. I need to go check in with work. Um, take care of some things. Work slow enough. I need to do some running around. And maybe, maybe, I keep saying it. So maybe I shouldn't say it. But this weekend, maybe I'll finally get this automation with Sammy going and all that fun stuff. Make it a little more... I don't know. Make my, my streams a little more spicy. I need, to, I need to figure out. I was having trouble. And OBS broke on me. But hopefully get it going uh anyway we can uh let's see who we got lady fury's playing don't starve together squatting dogs playing some fortnite ava's playing some animal crossing casual friday Ooh, games with jasmine playing fallout 4 oh starting soon okay well, she's starting soon, but she's not starting yet. Should we raid? Who we got? We'll do, uh, we'll do Ava. I should probably sleep. Been a long time since I did that. That's fair. That's fair. You probably should. Understand? Well, if anybody wants to hang around, I'm going to pass you off to Ava, Navaria, playing some Animal Crossing, looks like. She's pretty, she does a lot of art stuff, popped in and watched her stream, pretty chill. Chill good times. So I'll kick you off to that. Uh, otherwise, I uh, thank you guys for hanging out, watching. Um, Jake, get some sleep. Um, 
I will throw this upload a little later on YouTube. So if you're watching it there and you want to drop a sub, that'd be dope. Uh, otherwise, I also have a Discord if you want to jump in there, chat off off stream about things and upcoming games or whatever, um, or share fun videos. Um, it's, you know, that's where that happens. So also got a merch store. If you want to take a peek at that, that's there. Anybody interested? Um, and yeah, I'll be back Monday, next week, Monday, uh, 8 to 10-ish, to play some more Hogwarts. Get into this, probably do a lot of classes. Um, kind of queued up some of those, go hang out with Professor Garlic, which is what everyone wants to see, I know. That's what I want to be a part of. So anyway, hope you all have a great rest of your Friday and uh, a great weekend, and hopefully see you Monday.